Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event ETF Fight Night! In this corner, coming in at a current price of $76 and change, a super low 0.06% expense ratio, total net assets over $52 billion, your dividend daddy, SCHD! And in this corner, coming in at a price of $10.96, an expense ratio of 0.99%, a massive dividend yield of 61%. Your portfolio's new Saturday Night Side Piece, TSLY. SCHD, I would think most people would say you're the one to beat tonight. Some are saying that you are, in fact, the GOAT of dividend ETFs. Everyone seems to be comparing themselves to you. How are you feeling in this moment before what is arguably the biggest fight of your career so far. Well, you know, as the kids say, uh, I stand on my business, Raj. I've been doing this uh, since October of 2011, always remembering where I came from back when I was trading at uh, $25, $26. Uh, my dividends weren't even breaking 30 cents back then, and uh, look where we are now. Uh, shout out to Schwab for the vision. Uh, I feel good. I have a strategy, the history to back it up, and we are in this for the long game. Nothing's going to stop me. And Raj, congrats on hitting 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, SCHD. Good luck in the fight, and thank you to all of you who've watched, liked the videos, and subscribed. Couldn't have done it without you. Lots more content planned for 2024. And TSLY, tell us your thoughts on this matchup. You're the new contender in the ETF space, monthly paying dividends, high yield. There's a lot of speculation and support surrounding you. How are you feeling? Well, people come at me all the time, Raj. I came into the space and made a splash from day one. They hate me because they ain't me. I really do believe that. Uh, I see the comment section talking about nav erosion. People just can't see the bigger picture like I do, but don't worry about the price because uh, I'm the type of guy that has multiple options, pun intended. I'm focused on compounding and growing overall returns. We are out here going for the bag, and after tonight, everybody is gonna know how we do it at yield max because that is the goal, secure the bag. And speaking of the bag, Raj, how's that YouTube ad revenue treating you? Working on getting that set up now, still making videos for free. Thank you, TSLY. Good luck tonight. If you appreciated that intro, let me know by tapping the like button. We hit some milestones on this channel recently, and it wouldn't have been possible without you. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and coming back around for the next videos. Okay, full disclosures. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. I'm a fan of both of these ETFs, and I currently have both in my portfolio. But of course, they serve different purposes. Let's not be unrealistic here. These are two different investment products with different strategies. It's like having Snoop D-O-double-G fight Conor McGregor, who would like to remind you that he apologizes to nobody. What a guy. Why would we even do that? Is this for charity or something? A direct comparison isn't the best way to look at them, but we're still going to do it anyway because I got curious and you did too. You clicked the video. All right, let's get into it. So of course, the first thing I'm going to do is show you a one-year chart. From December of 2022 to December of 2023, if you you put $10,000 into SCHD and $10,000 into TSLY, after one year, you would have ended up with basically a tie. The SCHD position was worth $10,100 and Tesla was worth $10,250. Tesla was significantly underperforming just one month in, ended up catching back up to SCHD by April, dipped down again in May, spent the rest of the summer and early fall ahead, and in December, the two men in the middle. It's really easy to see the difference between the two, TSLY was way more volatile than SCHD, but this chart shows us results with dividends reinvested. Keep in mind, SCHD's dividend is significantly less than Tesla's, and Tesla's is much higher but less predictable. Some investors are planning on using these ETFs as sources of income. What if we're not reinvesting our dividends, but rather using them for other things? So this chart shows us the performance over the same time period as before, but the results are a little different. SCHD maintained its value pretty well without reinvesting the dividends, TSLY is down almost 50%. But of course, that's not the whole story. Both of these funds were paying out dividends during the last year. Let's see how that factors in. SCHD paid out $89 in 2022 and $377 in 2023 for a total of $466. Combine this with our end value of $9,645, we get a total of $10,111. TSLY paid out $0 in 2022 and paid out 
a massive $4,247. Combined with the end value of $5,553, we get a total of $9,800. So the data shows with and without dividends reinvested in both cases, the difference between the investments was just a few hundred dollars. Because of this, we have to establish what each of these ETFs are and are not, which one is good and which one is better. SCHD is a much less volatile asset that focuses on dividend quality and stability, and also historically has seen growth in both overall value and its dividend payout. TSLY is an income ETF for investors based on Tesla stock using a synthetic covered cost strategy, and as a result, it will capture the downside and only capture part of the upside of Tesla, with the trade-off being massive income potential thanks to options contract premiums. SCHD also has some potential tax benefits for those of us not investing in Roth accounts, and TSLY is focusing on max income, not tax efficiency. So if the past year was the only thing we had to figure out who wins in a heavyweight fight, that could go either way. Personally, a few hundred dollars of difference in both scenarios with dividends reinvested and not reinvested doesn't exactly sway me to say SCHD or TSLY is the winner. I mean, it's literally just one year's worth of data. It actually tells me that the overall winner is us, the investor. We get to live in a time where we can choose a reliable dividend ETF or choose a more volatile income oriented option and maybe both now much like a really close primetime fight not everyone is going to agree with that decision so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below so schd seems to be the better option for predictable dividends less volatility potential tax efficiency diversification and in my opinion a less risky investment overall however tsly is the better option for income potential and can benefit significantly more from compounding if you were to reinvest the dividends which gives you more shares of tsly and more income potential, especially as the years go on. At close to a 50% yield, that means that it would take less than two years to return all of your initial investment back thanks to compounding, assuming TSLY can maintain its price and dividend performance, of course. Not to say that won't happen with SCHD either, given it has grown in value overall and its dividend has increased, it's just that TSLY's dividend is so much larger by almost 15x at the moment, so compounding could possibly be more noticeable way earlier, and seems to be pretty key at the moment for maintaining the overall overall value of a Tesla position. So since they both returned about the same dollar amount after one year, they're both good investments so far in my opinion from a dollars in dollars out perspective, but they both are better for different reasons. But there is a key warning I have for everyone interested or invested in Tesla. I understand that the massive yield is attractive, but we don't really have a lot of market data for Tesla in different market conditions. Last year, Tesla went up almost 100% and we know that by nature, covered call ETFs like TSLY will likely not perform well in bear markets. So it remains to be seen how both these ETFs will do in the future, so be aware that Tesla's dividend might not be sustainable and price could easily decline from here, and of course, SCHD is not immune to downswings in the market either. But if you're making projections for TSLY based on existing data, be sure to factor in the downside as well because, well, it's pretty clear that not every year is guaranteed to be an up year for the markets. Tesla and Tesla are included in that. However, in both cases, for us long-term dollar cost averaging investors, both could be amazing options to dollar cost averaging into during a bear market. And if we're able to hold on during these down markets and come out the other side, we could be looking at some serious gains and income potential. For individuals looking to extract yield from TSLY but are concerned about NAV erosion, the option to reinvest part of the dividend is on the table, and hedging with Tesla stock or other positions might be worth looking into until we get some more data on how Tesla performs in various market conditions. And who says you have to buy in? Not investing, but keeping it on a watch list of investments is also a perfectly acceptable plan too. That's the best part about personal finance. We all get to make our own decisions. My plan is to keep SC HD as a core anchor in my dividend slash income portfolio, keep a small position in Tesla and other income ETFs as well, while dollar cost averaging for the long term and reinvesting my dividends. This seems to be the best strategy that works for basically anyone with the right mix of assets and a long enough time horizon. So I'm not planning on being an exception or a legendary trader, just the basics is fine with me and a little bit of spice with some higher yield income options like TSLY for increased risk, but with the possibility of increased rewards is always nice too. And I can always sell if the risk isn't worth the reward anymore or if a better option comes along. Let me know what you're planning on doing in the comment section down below. And if you found value in the video, click the like button, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. And of course, good luck in the markets.